Actually, the suspension and handling, uh, my favorite part about the car so far. The shocks really do well on uh, you know, hard G outs, through the whoops. We got factory settings, I haven't changed mine yet. Out of the box, it's probably one of the best, if not the best, handling car coming right off the showroom floor. The suspension was really forgiving and amazing. I mean, we're driving on a track and going somewhere where we've never driven before, following a bunch of guys, and you come over a bunch of whoopie doos and it just eats it, you just drive through it. Some of the jumps that we soaked up out here today, it did every bit as good as some of the $30,000 sand rails that we have. Your total control of throttle, total control of the transmission, front end, turns on a dime and you just throttle through and man, it's fun. The YXZ has rewritten the rule book when it comes to precision handling and off-road capability. With a chassis and suspension designed to outperform any sports side-by-side -side ever produced, period. The Yamaha Spec Fox 2.5 Podium Piggyback Reservoir front and rear shocks were developed specifically to provide industry best handling. With 26 inch shocks up front that soak up 16 inches of wheel travel. And in the rear, massive 32 inch shocks with bottom out technology, boasting 17 inches of whoop destroying wheel travel. And if that isn't enough, for 2017, YXZ SE models feature Podium X2 shocks with internal bypass valving, separate high and low speed compression and rebound adjustments, and dual rate springs with adjustable crossover, all combining to produce a much smoother ride over small choppy bumps and incredible high speed performance. On every YXZ model, the entire suspension geometry has been precision engineered to keep the tires tracking straighter through the roughest terrain, making it the most capable and confident sports side-by-side -side in the industry. On paper, the RZR suspension appears pretty even, but it doesn't offer rebound adjustability. And the RZR gives you a much less predictable ride as it hits bumps and the suspension goes through its full up and down travel. Its tires don't track as straight as the YXZs, causing a wandering effect. Don't just take our word for it. Here's what UTV Action had to say in their head-to-head -head shootout between the YXZ and the RZR 1000 XP. The YXZ handles tight, twisting turns like it's on rails, with front and rear anti-sway bars and a chassis designed to run flatter and faster through the corners and across almost any kind of terrain. And when it comes to steering, it feels much more precise and confident. The RZR needs to slow for turns the YXZ can handle with ease, because without a front sway bar, it just doesn't corner as flatly. Plus, in the RZR, you're also sitting about four inches higher, so your center of mass doesn't just feel taller, it is, further reducing confidence.